an application that created the childhood of many people, an app so important that it helped create you too, a tool capable of unleashing the creativity of artists and giving them the opportunity to create simple games with art similar to paint that many of us enjoyed playing during our childhood, and despite the fact that this application no longer there is more and many of the games have been lost along with it, the feeling of playing them and the enjoyment we had as children will stay forever. Hello everyone, today as you have already heard, we will talk about Adobe Flash, its birth, its developers, the most memorable things it produced, the nostalgia that it makes us feel, and, of course, it's a real death, but, today I am not alone, since this video will be a collaboration with a well-known YouTuber, so without more to say, let's receive La Lechuga. Hola chavos XD XD, bueno, como ya escucharon, Mr. Mas me ha invitado a hacer colaboración con él, nos pusimos de acuerdo e hicimos este video con mucha dedicación y nostalgia sobre Adobe Flash, esperemos lo disfruten tanto como nosotros, así que sin más que decir empecemos con... The Undeniable Death of Adobe Flash Starting with the general description, Flash Player was a computer application included in the category of multimedia player. It was initially created by Macromedia and distributed by Adobe Systems. It allowed you to play files in SWF format, created with Adobe's own Animate CC or Flex tool, or with other third-party tools. These files were played in a certain environment. In an operating system, it was in the system application format, while if the environment was a browser, its format was that of a plugin or actix object. Animate CC, que antiguamente tenía el mismo nombre, Flash, es el programa de creación de las animaciones. Estrictamente hablando, Animate es el lugar de creación, y Flash Player es el reproductor o la máquina virtual. Sin embargo, en lenguaje coloquial se usaba el término Flash para referirse al entorno, al reproductor e, incluso, a los archivos generados. Flash Player had support for an interpreted programming language known as ActionScript, apps, based on the ECMAScript standard. Since its origin, S has gone from being a very basic language to an advanced language with object-oriented programming support, comparable in functions and use to the JavaScript language. Originalmente fue creado para mostrar animaciones en dos dimensiones, ahora ha pasado a convertirse en la opción preferida a la hora de crear aplicaciones web que incluyen audio y video e interactividad. La utilización de gráficos vectoriales le permite disminuir el ancho de banda necesario para la transmisión y, por ende, el tiempo de carga de la aplicación. Flash Player estuvo disponible para las versiones más recientes de los navegadores más populares, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Opera, etc. El navegador Chrome de Google no lo necesita porque distribuía su propia versión con el programa. Flash Player uses a sandbox security model, which means that Flash applications playing in the browser have very stripped and limited resources available to them. Applications, for example, cannot read data from the hard drive, except data such as cookies that they have written themselves, called shared objects. As of the release of Flash Player 7, they can only communicate with a domain name that they originated, unless it is explicitly allowed by another domain. Flash Player es, como cualquier otra aplicación que trata ficheros recibidos de Internet, susceptibles a ataques. Los ficheros especialmente elaborados podrían hacer que la aplicación funcione mal, permitiendo la ejecución potencial de código maligno. No se tiene conocimiento de problemas reales y concretos, pero la extensión del player ha tenido defectos de seguridad que teóricamente podrían haber dejado vulnerable un ordenador a ataques remotos. No se han publicado más incidentes de seguridad desde entonces. Flash Player se considera seguro su uso. Now we will go with the part that we all expected, the video games, the most popular, and the reason why he died, so let's start. Los juegos Flash son una de las mejores creaciones del internet, una increíble variedad de juegos muy distintos al resto, hagamos una comparación, por ejemplo, en consolas los juegos tienen que ser autorizados y deben ser de alguna franquicia específica, pero en internet estos juegos eran bastante diferentes, un ejemplo muy reconocido de una plataforma de juegos Flash es juegos Free, ya que debido a la libertad de no estar sujeto a reglas ni a condiciones, los creadores tenían total libertad para elegir cómo serían sus juegos, muy parecido a los juegos indie de la actualidad, lo bueno de estos juegos es que generan mucha variedad, mejorando así la calidad del gameplay para nosotros los usuarios. And well, with a wide variety of games, 
There could be some of the most innocent games, games for children and for cooking, for example, but there were others that in fact, could have generated a problem. These games are those that are for a larger public like say 12 onwards. A very good example is Pico School, a point and click game with a simple mechanic. It is only tap on the screen so that Pico moves around the map. But since we open the game everything becomes extremely violent. In fact, this game is available in Udrance, one of the most recognized platforms, due to its great difference from the others, since its games are more for teenagers of higher quality for the time, creating many classics, and not only you can add games, you can also add animations, art, comments, which makes it a nostalgic and complete platform. Y pues estos datos nos llevan a la importante pregunta, si Adobe Flash era tan bueno y útil, ¿por qué decidieron eliminarlo? Bueno la respuesta es que Adobe Flash tenía muchos problemas de seguridad severos, siendo incluso que McAfee y Steve Jobs lo criticaban por su baja seguridad, ya que cualquier hacker podía ingresar y tener acceso a las computadoras de todos los usuarios de la aplicación. This generated criticism that despite having created millions of games, security was still a problem for its safety, its excessive use of battery and more. At the time there were more programs that did the same, but with greater security, such as HTML5, and despite the fact that Adobe tried to solve the problem of hacks, this was not enough. So on July 25, 2017 it was announced that Adobe Flash will be deactivated forever on December 31, 2020, when Adobe Flash died. All the games once created with this program were cancelled, leaving them totally unplayable. Yes, all our childhood was lost forever, not just kidding. All things created with Flash are stored in the Internet Archive, so that in the future all can be recovered and played again. Y bueno gente hasta aquí queda el video, esperamos que les haya gustado este video de colaboración y les haya vuelto a traer ese sentimiento de nostalgia que todos tuvimos jugando estos juegos de Flash, recuerden que para más videos solo apoyen el canal de Mr. Mask y el mío, de mi parte y de Mr. Mask deseamos que se la pasen bien y que si quieren más videos de estos temas denle like, ya que así nos hacen ver que les gustan, bueno creo que eso es todo, y sin más que decir me despido, soy la lechuga. And I am Mr. Mask. Again, I thank la lechuga for collaborating, we hope to have them more on the channel. Gracias por ver el video. Hasta la próxima XD.